I'm like, who hey, said that? We're streaming. Lions. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. We are streaming now over to Facebook. I almost positive we are. I don't have it up. But I have three screens up and we're here talking to you and we're looking all over the place. So today is day one. Like who is ready for day one? Like throw so if you're on Facebook, throw some hearts in the chat. And if you're here on Zoom, put in the chat um, if you are, are ready or me or whatever you want. Um, throw it in there because we are like pumped. Um, so from our accelerator, we Eric said that he's trying to keep it in that 20, 30 minutes. So that's supposed to go from uh, my time, mountain time, 12 to 1230. And then we normally will, we're trying to get on at 1230 to 10 minutes before new releases. But they said this first week, they're going to be going a little bit longer because they really want to get the information in and really like, What's the word? Um, so they're going to give us more information this week. And what we have. So the first week might be a little crazy. So please be flexible with us. We kind of hopefully let you guys know that we don't know exactly what's going on with this week. So <laughs> hopefully when we get into more of the pattern, all you guys have to worry about is a half an hour before new releases times. We'll get on for 20, 25 minutes, and then we'll pop off for you guys to do new releases. We will keep you posted because if you're running over, we don't want to run into new releases for you right. guys and for me. Because we are loving releases. So um, if we have to just watch the group, it may have to be like that 10 minutes after new releases, just like we had to do today. So we will keep you guys up to date and we'll post in that group. Um, but today, Eric got on and... Um, can I throw oh, yeah, yeah. Real quick? Just a reminder, you guys. We, we talked about this in our kind of uh, our launch Zoom and, and live that we did. Remember what this group is about, okay? This, this group's about empowering and supporting each other, okay? This is not a selling group. This is not a drama or negativity group. This is about supporting and helping each other and sharing successes and sharing our homework and accountability. That's what this group, this group is about. So if there's some posts that in there that um, aren't following along with those guidelines, we're, we're gonna kindly remove them and just know that that's just gonna happen and we're just gonna manage expectations that way. Okay, is that is that fair with everybody? Yeah, that's pretty fair, right? Awesome, thank you so much. Okay, let's get into this real quick. So, um, what Eric said, because I want to just give you stuff and we're gonna try and make this as quick as possible that you guys can get to your stuff and your assignments. So. Um, he gave three things today as far as getting you to have a breakthrough. So if you really want a breakthrough, he said the three main things is, is one, um, turn your brain off and follow instructions. So you're going to get assignments, you're going to get instructions, and you just need to turn your brain off and not think about, and that goes into, so he said that number one, number two, he said breathe, and number three, he said no negotiate. Don't negotiate. Don't negotiate. <laughs> and so like with breathing, you guys, we're going to get assignments that you're going to get that might seem overwhelming. And even when with like the number three, Brittany talked about don't negotiate, you're going to want to negotiate, you're going to want to avoid, you're going to want to rationalize things. Just breathe and do what you're told is basically what he's telling us. So just take a breath. Sometimes if we're not used to something, the first time you do something new, it's a little, it can be a little scary sometimes but just breathe and take messy action. It does not have to be perfect, okay? And it's easy to justify. Like he said, you're gonna find ways that it's, oh, I'm sick. Oh, I've got my kids. Oh, I've got this. I'll do it tomorrow. No, if you just turn off your brain and hurry and do it, where again, like I get it. I have five kids and I, I am so sick today, but I'm gonna show up and play full out and nobody's gonna know about it. That the minute you turn on that camera, they're not going to be able to tell. And then I'm going to get off and I'm going to not go throw up in a toilet, but it's okay because nobody's going to know. So it's totally fine. It's That's going to be the same thing as you're just going to put on a thing that I'm going to do this, get it done. And then you can go on and get your yeah. other things done for the day. Just like our launch, we talked about Facebook's uh, brick and wall story, one brick at a time. And he showed up and laid those bricks, whether it was rain or shine, whether it was sick, whether he had homework, anything. Just lay that brick the best that you can, okay? So just breathe. He even said with a negotiate, if you're a normal person, you're going to want to negotiate with yourself, okay? We want to avoid pain or we gravitate towards pleasure. 
So we're all, if, if it's something new and we don't know, and it might be possible pain, we're going to want to avoid or, or negotiate and rationalize. So just realize, just breathe, do the homework, and just don't negotiate. Do what you're supposed to be doing. Um, but then with that, he also said, um, oh, so I'm going to put in here, he, what he said in our group, which I'm going to, I've had the same question pop up a lot to you guys, that it's like, okay, some, someone, or there are going to be people that are watching this as a replay. And there's some that you're at work, or there's going to be times that things are happening that you're not able to get on. If you can get on live, it's a lot better because a lot of the times we just put it off or procrastinate if you can't watch it live. But if you can't watch it live, pick a time and you said it that that is a non-negotiable, that every day after work, I'm going to do this. And every day at seven o'clock, I'm going to get on, I'm going to watch this and I'm going to do the homework. So you need, he said, you show up. It's like, if you had a job, if you didn't show up every day or you did your own thing, you're going to get fired. If you had, you went to college, if whoever here, if you were in school, what happened on test day or when assignments were turned in? Well, if you didn't turn them in or you didn't go to the test, you got an F. So, and especially in college, you paid for it. So that's this, that show up and do it. And it's just, I'm not going to think about it. I'm going to hurry and get this done. And then um, we're going to move on. So he gave an assignment today. His assignments, he, Aaron Corey talked about, talked, and then uh, Frazier Brooks talked about Frazier Brooks, Frazier, Frazier, Frazier. Sorry, he, he has a different name, a uh, different name. I've been calling him the wrong name for a long time. Sorry. Uh, but Eric Worry, anyways, Eric Worry has been, uh, he gave us assignment that he wants us to post in our personal profiles and find a picture of yourself that is like the, uh, a really big, happy, uh, just laughing, like he said, like a belly laugh, like you, you saw like the happiest, like you just laughed at the biggest, uh, funniest joke ever and find a, a post of you laughing or a picture of you laughing. And he wants you to write about why 2023 is going to be the best year of professionally uh, ever that you've ever had. Why 2023 is your year. So that's homework assignment number one is to go in there, find a picture and post why 2023 is going to be the best year ever. So you're going to post that on your timeline. And so that is your first assignment for today. You post the most happy picture of yourself and why 2023 is going to be the best year of your life. Yeah. And side little note of how we're going to work this group. We're going to create an album in this group of all the 90 of all every single live and we're going to put the lives all the lives in there so you can easily find stuff because i know since we have so many people in this group things might get buried but if you go into the album we'll talk more about this you'll be able to find every single day in there as well so if we have any files or things that we're going to post in there we'll put that in the files any uh, all the lives we're going to post post in there so you hopefully by the end of the 90 day you'll be able to see all 90 days in one album and they'll be easily you'll be able to easily find them so, and we'll talk about that here in a second because we'll have a file that we're going to upload in there for your assignment for today as well. Um, also, something that we just want you guys to know before we get into Frazier's information is we are proud of you guys. You guys are here. You guys are that 1%. They, you guys are stepping up. You guys are like, you're taking action. And that is huge. And so number one, you need to give yourself a pat on the back just for being here and for wanting to change. So yeah, we're- I say we even throw, we, let's throw a seven in the chat for uh, everyone here, because honestly, you being here, that's a big deal. That's a really proud, that's a huge win for you guys to be here. So we are definitely very proud of you. We're excited that we're all here. Some paparazzi sisters and brothers here, all excited and being here together. So we're super excited. So thank you guys so much for being here. Very, very awesome. Oh, okay, we're gonna go into Frazier. Um, there is, um, something that he said is you need to finish, or he talked to a millionaire. I'm trying to put this in there. But, um, he said, finish what you are, have set out to achieve. And he said that he talked to a billionaire and he asked him for some advice. And he said, what is one piece of advice that you would give me? And he said, whatever you say that you're going to commit to, do it and do it well. So finish what you are set out to start. And I think like that's something that it really kind of set home with me that it's like, you want this, then let's do this. Yeah. Commit to doing it. And if you're gonna, if if it's not gonna be perfect, give yourself permission that it's not going to be perfect. Just like today, 
we we already told you guys that we're going to start at 12 30 and we had to we had to change it so it's not perfect already we've already like not shown up perfectly for you guys so it's okay we give you guys permission not to be perfect throughout this whole entire process okay um next is uh fraser brooks talked about two different things that he's going to be giving us and that we're going to be giving you is he talked about core activities so basically kind of like dmo your daily method of operations if you've heard that or kind of your dailies things you're going to be doing every single day consistently every single day he gave us five of those that we're going to go into and then he gave us dares he gave us daily dares and daily dares are kind of like homework assignments and he said whenever i was dared something growing up i would do it and so it's kind of his take on doing homework assignments and so whenever we give you a daily dare it's like your homework assignment so really when we talked about that post with the big laughing belly laugh and the 2023, that's our dare for you to post in your personal profile um, that post, okay? So now, I think if you really sit back and think, like, that really kind of hit home too, but it's like, I feel like I'm a kid again. That's like, I dare you to go live five times a week, or I dare you to go and talk to five people. Well, you just don't think about it when you're in the moment. You're just this dumb kid that you yeah. just go and just do it. And it's like, <laughs> oh, wait, what did I just do? Because your brain is just not thinking. And so that's the point behind it is, hey, I'm going to do this there. I'm going to turn my brain off and I'm going to hurry and do it. And I'm not going to think about anything else. Then afterwards, it's like, hey, I did it. I did it. I, I'm, laughing, <laughs> I'm laughing at Alicia's comment because I literally thought the exact same thing for the person's story. I triple dog dare you. And that's what we're going to be doing every single day. <laughs> triple dog daring you guys every single day. So thank you for putting that in there. That very loud. That was awesome. So with the core, the five core things that he gave us, there were, they all start with C. So number one is um, commenting on posts um, that you see on social media. So the, with the core activities, he said, take five to 10 minutes. So this isn't something that should be here I'm spending an hour here and I'm spending an hour here. Like these are going to be assignments that you guys can still, I know a lot of you guys are have full-time jobs or you have other things going on that it's something that I can, you can still go live. These are things that you're doing extra for five to 10 minutes extra a day. So an additional 30 to 60 minutes that is very doable. So he said this first one, the commenting, don't spend any more than five or 10 minutes commenting on other people's social media. So this is something he said is remember while you're commenting on other people's social media, try not to post and comment on your team's social media. Okay. Because what you comment on Facebook is going to give you more of. So if you're commenting on people that are not your team members or not your customers, you're going to see more of them in your feed. So do that intentionally to find people. So hopefully their feed's going to come up and you can interact with them more often. Okay. So it's customers. It's a proper or a team member. So go and comment on, so set a timer and say, okay, for the next 10 minutes, yeah. I'm going to comment on um, any families, friends, or he said, find people with your same interest. So he used a, if you like golfing and you post a lot about golfing, then go and post on people that like golfing because they're going to come over and they're going to stalk you. They're going to look at you and see what you have. So find something that's about you if moms find people that like jewelry or like fashion comment on some of those posts and then they're going to come over and when they come to your feed you should have stuff about you live on there it's i i'm going to back up for one second i can't tell you how many of you guys that added to the group that i went and stalked and i had to scroll through three five ten posts before i could tell what you guys were doing are you posting about jewelry are you posting a live on there so it's some of those things that and how many times do people comment on your post and you go click on them to see who is this person and you kind of stalk them a little bit. So you are a walking billboard. Yeah. Of the five core activities, first one is commenting on other people's posts, only five or 10 minutes. So really set a timer, okay? Number two is creating content. So post at least one time on your personal profile every single day, okay? So whether that's a post, a quote, he's talked about like if you're doing YouTube stuff, reels, uh, TikToks, lives. I know we're, we're big into lives with paparazzi. So do some sort of thing that's going to um, uh, post on your personal uh, profile. And then he said something that we want you to do as homework assignment number two is if you do something, if you have a post or a live or something that goes well, we want you to share that in the group with everybody, okay? So if you have a, a, a post that goes viral, and a viral doesn't have to be a million views, that means 
we've heard viral means anything that you're used to, if it 10 X is that. So if you're used to like 10 comments and you got a hundred comments, wow, that, that performed really well. I'm going to post it in a group for us all to use. And then we can interact and see what other people are, are doing and use that as ideas as well. So like, Hey, if, if Cindy or Cassandra or Tamara or uh, Nakia, they posted something really cool in there that did really well. Maybe I could use that and model what they did. And then I can use that for my own content. Another. And so we're all helping each other out. So example, I post on my business page or on my personal profile, and I have a reel that takes up, a, I'm used to getting 3,000 or 300 views. And then I have one that gets 10 or 15,000. I'm going to share that into this 90 day group because then you guys can all copy it. It's not taking from me. It's just giving you guys this. That's like, oh my gosh, this is something that took off for me. You guys can go create the same thing. And hopefully that that will take off too. And we're just helping each other out here as a community. Yeah. I saw that in the comments. All TikToks, they use the same sound, but every video, everybody has their own personality to it. So it's not options. Yeah. And something that he said, uh, Fraser talks about is, Collaboration is beats competition. Let's just be collaborators with each other and use each other's ideas for content for each other. So the third thing he talked about is connecting. Uh, he didn't go super well. He didn't go super into depth with this. And this is where he'll probably talk about this more this week. But he talked about connecting action versus attracting. And we think that this one's going to be more like um, connecting with like DMs and kind of commenting with people. We don't have a homework assignment for you with this one yet. But know that this is one of the three. So just a quick review. First one was commenting on other people's posts. Uh, two is creating content. Three is connecting. And then four is converting. So he talked about converting. And so all of these things, he gave us things. He's going to go more in depth on these. So that's why this week is going to be a little bit longer. And so we will come in and we'll give you all this stuff once we're done. So with converting, he talks about converting followers, taking your conversations and how to convert those into customers and into team members. Um, and then number five is going to be celebrate. And so he said that this is, you're going to celebrate your wins and you're going to celebrate your losses. And so every Friday, he said that that's going to be more of the assignment on Friday is to um, celebrate your wins because you need to celebrate wins. But another thing he said is you will have, um, if you don't keep going, um, the losses and the fa failures will pull you down. And so you're going to get way more no's, way more failures than you are going to get yeses, but it's okay. You need to celebrate the wins, but he also gave an assignment behind this. Yeah. So do you want to show her? Do you want me to? Yeah, we'll, we'll both do it. <laughs> so he had a really cool, this is homework assignment number three, you guys. Whenever you have a loss, this doesn't mean every single loss or every single no that you guys get, but this is a way what you could do is if you ever get a no or a loss or you're asking somebody to or to come uh, um, uh, if you kind of become a consultant or whatever, join your team and you get a no, he said, what you want to do is go to a family member or go to your partner and ask them to record you do this dance and post this in the group. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. Pull back, pull back a little bit. Yeah. So, and this is something that it's, if it's like, here, I'm frustrated. I'm having a moment. Oh, make sure that this picture does. I think the microphone's better here. Microphone's up here. Okay. <laughs> so he said, put your two fingers up and you're going to dance. Hold on, what do you say? One yeah. here. You have to show your hip. I'm oh, going to dance. See, this is one of those things that we're not thinking. You're so, going to dance. The one finger and the hip goes over. There you go. You're going to dance. There you go. So when you Let's have, see it. So if you're having a bad day, how, do you, how can you not do that and smile? Right. So if you have a loss, you need to go and you do this dance and you record yourself. And yes, it feels awkward. I just felt awkward and I did that we for both all did. of you guys. We both did, so it's okay. So, <laughs> Tamara's cracking up. I see that, Tamara. <laughs> so you're going to do this and then you're going to post on your, um, you're going to post this video and you're going to have the tagline, what, um, what did he say? The tagline was uh, the caption of your negativity dance. So it's, um, and you can make it something funny that it is, hey. Just got to know, I mean, this is up to you guys, but I, I, I just got to know having someone join my team, but guess what? I'm still dancing. I'm still dancing. This allows us to not let those losses and failures 
tear come us down, uh, kind of pull us down. Because I actually went door to door. I was kind of one of those solicitors, kind of annoying people that come to your door one summer. And I know no after no after no after no every single day wears on you. So this is just a little thing just to kind of raise your state a little bit or raise your excitement or raise your energy just to get back up and keep going for those wins. Oh, we have, that was the last assignment was that. And then you need to, um, you're, we're going to have a file posted here in the group here in a second. I'm having it redesigned and modified for paparazzi because um, they gave us one that's more just kind of general but it's going to be tracking your activity because whatever you track grows. So we are going to have it here in the files. We'll have it posted here soon. Oh, no, no, no. The third one was this, but we'll talk about the tracking. So you're going to track your activity and um, your stuff with social media. Yeah. So just quick summary of the five points. Okay. We'll, we'll give you more information as this keeps going throughout the week. But one was commenting on other people's uh, uh, posts for five minutes. Two is creating a post, some sort of type of post, whether that's a story, a reel, a live. Number three was connecting. Number four was converting. And number five is celebrating. So again, we'll give you more information as that keeps going. Um, but those are the five things. And then the daily dare, the homework assignment was what Brittany was talking about. We're going to post this uh, tracking sheet. And basically what it is, will you show, uh, let me just see this for a sec. Basically what it is, it's just a tracking sheet for you to be able to see um, if you put any content out there, how much you've grown your list, um, following up with people, any new customers that you got, and any new consultants that you signed up. Okay, so it's just a way to track everything that's going on within your business, and we're going to track it all together, and it's going to be from week to week, okay? And then, so that's going to get posted here in a second. So, and then he gave an additional, um, the last, he gave a second dare of an assignment that you guys can do this or not. He said, this is optional, which um, I really love it. Is it the no, it's the... Uh... Oh, before she gets into that, there's one more little side thing that he talked about as another tracking. This is next level. So for the, the main dare, the main homework assignment is that tracking sheet. But if you want to take this dare to the next level, what he said is for any uh, things that you post, you wanna track your social media activity. So you wanna track to see which day you posted it, what time you posted it, and then the post type, okay? And then within that, you wanna track the interactions that you got, the comments, the views, and the shares. So you're basically doing your own analytics on everything that you just created. So again, this isn't just, that's next level. So if you wanna take this to the next level, you totally can, but really, just, just worry about that main tracking sheet that we're going to be putting out there. So this is helpful if you're jumping up to that next level. If it's like, here, I'm already doing this. I'm already doing this. I'm already doing this. Okay, well, by you tracking, by doing that, what Robbie just said, it helps to know, okay, this type of post, um, this did well. And I had a lot of people really um, engage on this type of post. So I'm going to do more posts like this. Or I'm going to do, um, I, people aren't really engaging at three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to post at six o'clock and oh my gosh, I'm getting more engagement at 6 p.m. So I'm going to start posting at 6 p.m. So this is something that it helps you know with your following because they can say straight across the board, oh, everybody posts at this time and this time and this time. And I've seen different analytics. But in reality, it depends on your following. So it's just kind of testing. And you'll see what your people kind of like, but it's still good to put the content out and just kind of you're playing with it. Um, so just a quick review before you do the last little of your bonus one. Yeah. So before we do this, we know we gave you a lot. Remember what Eric Worre said at the very beginning. He said, he said, turn your brain off and just focus on the assignments. Just breathe. Okay. Just breathe. If there's some things that you don't know how to do. Do the best that you can, okay? And then three is don't negotiate. Do everything that you're supposed to be doing, okay? So in this in this live, we'll come back to the description and we'll post the homework assignments in there. And maybe we'll be posting the, the three main things Eric Worre talked about and what Fraser talks about. That way you can find everything within that post in the description. How does that sound? Does that work? Awesome. Okay. Perfect. And the last one that he gave was he said an extra bonus there 
his um, his Eric trying to get into fitness was uh, Frazier. And so they said there something that they um, are going to start doing and they put out to all of us was that they want to start doing 10,000 steps a day. And so if you could do, and he said, while I do this, I'm going to listen to a podcast or a motivational book or something to help grow me. So you're moving your body physically, which is huge. And then you are doing something mentally to help you grow. So this is going to help change your mindset and change your, um, just make you feel better every day. So that is an extra thing. You don't have to do that assignment, but I'm going to take on that assignment as well. Robbie does that every day. I'll hear him. He's like, I don't have my 10,000 steps and I've got to go do it. And I had a health coach that told me that she said the first thing that she gave me was to just start trying to get 10,000 steps in. So that's something if you guys want to take on that additional one, great. If you don't want to, totally fine. But um, I really like that because it's not just changing you. This whole program isn't just changing your business but it's changing you mentally, it's changing you physically, it's making you just a better person all the way around. So thank you guys so much. I know I've seen some comments where people have listed the, the thing. So uh, the, the five different things we talked about, the five core activities, thank you guys so much for helping us out. We know we've, we're trying to get through a lot here. So maybe we'll open it up just for three to four minutes for questions. Just please raise your hands and we'll, we'll call on you because we have a lot of people in here. Just three to five minutes for questions, if anybody has questions, and then we'll we'll wrap up for the day. One quick thing, I saw one comment. Sorry, I haven't been watching those because I wanted to try and just engage with you guys on this. Um, somebody said that if there's some of the things that they want to watch this again, this is being streamed over to Facebook. So the recording is there. You can go back and watch this replay as many times as you want. Yep. Um, Amy, we saw that you have you were first. Yeah, um, I saw this comment several times in the chat too. And so, and it was a question I had. Um, should we be posting these on our personal page or our business page or both? Because like my personal page is actually, you know, more restricted, whereas my business page is public. So I just wondered which would be the best to be posting it on. <laughs> I would say whatever you think would be the most beneficial for you. You know, if, if you have more eyes on your personal page, you know, get more people on there that aren't customers or team members, do it on your personal page. You know, if, you're, if your personal page is restricted somehow, then do it on your business page. But I, I, we kind of heard mostly personal page. That way it can get out there more. The only, he said he would caution against a group because if you post it in group, the only people in the group see it, right? So you're trying to get as many eyes on that post as possible. I need to give my little caveat behind it again. You can do whatever you guys want, okay? But you guys are a walking billboard, okay? You guys have a business. So, and this is something that I struggled with for a long time. I had my profile private. I didn't want to post pictures of my kids. But as you create these fans, these um, customers, they want to see your life. They want to see what's going on. And so it's making a decision that if you want something private or like I had a private thing for a lot of years and then I had to let it go that I have a private little Instagram that I can just see my friends and, and my neighbors just so I know what's going on. So if you want that little privacy, then I would create something of, I've got a private cell phone. Nobody has access to my one private cell phone. So it depends on you. If you want to open it up that here, I want this private just for this, and then you have those 10 or 20 people that you really follow, then create something different and then open up your page because you're going to blow it up having your page and your business page to help each other out. But I know that there's some, I've talked to some elite, they can't do that because of safety issues with family and different things. I totally get that. So it's looking at your situation and what's going to work best for you and then just mold it. I saw that you were next. I just wanted to know what the hashtag is. We weren't told <laughs> hashtag. Do you have a good hashtag for us? No. <laughs> Does anybody have a good hashtag for us? Maybe throw it in the chat. What do you think about that? Good question. 90 day run. 90 day run? Jacqueline yeah. said that? Yeah. 
maybe if it's maybe uh, maybe an idea maybe if it's associated with a 90 day run then we could do that or maybe like 2023 goals or yeah 90 day of growth i mean maybe maybe think about it and if you have any ideas pamela i i i dare you how's that i dare you to put that in the group so we can all use it how's that sound <laughs> thanks i hope perfect thank you so much pamela arnetta i see you up next Hi, I was just trying, is this all like one day's assignment or is this for the week or so tomorrow yes. we get a whole bunch more homework? Good, okay, good just take it. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're going to be getting two different things. We're going to be getting kind of our dailies, our DMO or our, he calls it core activities every day that we'll be doing. Hopefully will be things that's like, like commenting on others will be like five to 10 minutes. So hopefully this stuff will be more like consistency every day. And then there'll be dares that are like the homework assignments, like the go post in the 2023 about your how this is going to be the best day, uh, best year ever, or some of those no, things. No, 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 that's not just the 2020. That's on their personal timeline. Yeah, right. But like there'll be a, a, a balance of like things that you do every single day, and then there's going to be act, like homework assignments every single day. So there'll be both of those going in. But yeah, there'll be homework assignments every single day. And it seems like look when we did this 90 day last year. It actually moved into it was five months and it wasn't just 90 days it was a lot and I wanted to scream and yell and I said I'd never do a 90 day again in my life but what good came out of it is it created habits but the assignments that they gave us before that's just a habit to me now but I'm like oh so these things that they're giving us I'm like oh this is easy I already do this I already do this and so it's going at first it is going to seem like a lot and so it's like here if I can't spend 10 minutes here, I'm going to spend five minutes or I'm going to spend three. You still did something that it's just moving that needle because 1% and better over a year. No, it's 0 0.001. So less than a percent in one year, that will be 100%. I would just say uh, it's going to take work, you guys. So everybody on this call, it's going to take work through this tiny day. It's going to be tough assignments. But if you miss a day or two, Remember, breathe and just get back on that horse again and just keep going, okay? If you fall behind, when I fall behind, sometimes I get really overwhelmed because I'm like, well, I got three days of homework I got I to gotta catch up on. And I'm just like, uh, I'm just going to avoid and, 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 and run away, okay? Do not do that, okay? Do not do that. Just pick yourself up and say, hey, I missed Thursday and Friday. I missed the weekend. I'm starting Monday fresh. Every day is a new day. Every day is a new day. So at, just stay with us. We'll keep getting this. We want to keep this as organized, as simple as possible for you guys. So just stay with us. Just breathe. And we'll do the best that we can to present it in a, a, an easy and simple way for you guys. Okay? Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, we will see you tomorrow. Be on the lookout to see when we're going to um, make sure we're, we have the time tomorrow because we know we, we heard tomorrow might be a little bit longer as well. So just watch the group. Hopefully we want to make sure this is consistently the same time. We'll just keep you updated to see how everything turns out. And we're excited. We're excited. I say we end on a little uh, a little, a little dance. <laughs> oh, excited. Who's excited? <laughs> you guys are awesome. you. <laughs> And we are like we're all in this together. We're super excited. So oh, one last thing. We're super sorry my mom's not here. She's coming back. She's on a plane right now. So she will she will be with us tomorrow. So just letting you guys know that. And love you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Bye. Love you. Thank you guys.